brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The waiting game is over. Oftentimes, uh, I had discussions with Madeline about perhaps uh, waiting for her. But after the last three elections, when people had expected she would retire I, and, and hadn't, I realized, no, I, it's not a matter of waiting. It's, it's not about... Um, uh, it's not about waiting now, it's about serving. Two-term governor and a former senator, Felix Camacho says he has the experience to make Guam's voice loud and clear in Congress. So there, there's so much work to be done. And um, I truly feel that I'm going to build on the successes of all my predecessors, from Berdalio to uh, Robert Underwood to the late General Ben Blas to Antonio Wampat. There's a succession of work that's been done, and, and I recognize that uh, having been a leader myself, that you, you stand on the shoulders of others and, and all the good work they've done. And in areas that need improvement, I'll be there. Those issues include war reparations and better treatment for Guamanians in federal policies. I believe that as an unincorporated territory of, um, of the United States of America, we have been treated very unfairly. I, I want to seek equity. I want to seek justice. I want to seek fairness. Uh, I want to represent and, and bring a, a very strong agenda to Washington. Status quo, I don't believe, is, is, uh, is acceptable anymore. There needs to be more work done. And as we become more and more entrenched in uh, the American Department of Defense posturing, um, as they refer to us as the, as the tip of the spear, um, the permanent aircraft carrier in the Pacific, we're more than just a, a naval base, an air force base. We're more than just a Department of Defense presence. Uh, the value that we bring to America is so much more than that. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.